Welcome back to a daily portion of grammar, uh, of German, I should say. And this is the uh, second in the series of looking at uh, this, these uh, statements by Ernst Trelch uh, on the history of religion school. And you can just see the title here uh, first. And the last time that we, that we met, we covered the first uh, paragraph uh, delineated with number one. And here's the second one, number two. So uh, Irina's with us again, and, and we're going to read some out loud, and if you can repeat with her, uh, just to get the sound and the feel of the language, it would, would be great. And then I'll ask questions to from time to time, and then you can uh, think about in your own mind what the answers would be, and, and you, then you'll see that sort of unfold in front of you and maybe get a better sense of how to read some of this uh, somewhat more complex German. Anyway, let's read some aloud if you already start. Um, I'll just move the text up a little bit right there. Okay, here we go. Um, nun ist freilich vor allem zu sagen, everybody. Nun ist freilich vor allem zu sagen. Sorry, just move this a bit. Let me skip this here. And I guess you can see my marker now, uh, right there? Yeah. Okay, great. Um, das die durch diesen Ausdruck bezeichnete Sache, everybody? Das die durch diesen Ausdruck bezeichnete Sache. Weder in irgendeinem Sinn etwas spezifisch Deutsches ist? Weder in irgendeinem Sinne etwas spezifisch Deutsches ist. Noch etwas wirklich Neues. Noch etwas wirklich Neues. If you remember, weder noch means neither nor. Weder noch. And then you have another noch here. So it just continues that. Neither da da nor da or nor. Just in, like that. So um, up to here, um, let's see, right here, where is the verb complex? Ist zu sagen. Nicely done, yeah. Ist zu sagen. Now this means, um, literally, it is to say, or one one uh, should say, or one must say, ist zu sagen. It is to be said. Literally, it is to be said. So, and, and then, um, uh, Freilich, uh, <clears throat> um, certainly, so it is, now it is certainly above all to be said that, so obviously the author is saying this This is what it is necessary to say or, or to, to look at, basically. Okay, and then um, das die, durch diesen Aus, up to here, what, what sort of construction do we find in there, Irene? Um, an extended adjective. Yeah, an extended adjective construction, das D, and then after D, you expect a noun or an adjective. You don't get it. You get a preposition, which is the sign that something is a little bit haywire. So let's put a let's put a, a parentheses marker here, and it goes all the way to the first adjective or the first uh, either present participle or past participle. And where is that? Bezeichnete. Good. So I'm I'm always as, I'm asking uh, Irene these, but I'm really asking you who are listening. Uh, to, to see if you can find where these constructions begin and end and, and how do you determine those as I ask different questions. So that the, and then you go to the, 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 the matter, the, the sache, the subject, and then you go always to this uh, either present participle or past participle first in resolving this. And you normally uh, will resolve this with a relative clause. So uh, now uh, certainly it, it must be above all, must be said that the matter or the subject uh, which is um, designated so go here so, uh, so i'm i'm uh, creating a, a relative clause to resolve this extended modifier uh, which is the best way to do it and the safest way which is which uh, this this matter which which was designated past participle which was designated through this expression so <clears throat> that this matter and then go go on um, where's the verb in here? I mean, where's the, up to the comma? Ist. That that this um, that this matter is uh, neither in some in 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 some uh, sense somewhat specifically German. That it is somewhat specifically German. Here's an adverb without an adjective ending on this word. S somewhat specifically German. Not, nor is it, and then finish this one here. Um, is it something actually new? Good, nor is it actually something new, nor is it a, um, 
a, a Einduik, which is um, a clear and a and, clear and unified concept. Yeah, and unified concept. Yeah, good, good. Uh, a clear and unified uh, principle. Grundsatz, der Grundsatz is the principle. Um, okay, and then auf den, what does this den refer back to? Um, Grundsatz. Yeah, so so this is the antecedent for this. Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> hold, hold a second, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Uh, this goes all the way back to Grundsatz, so it's the antecedent. And and if this were a feminine, it would be auf D. So, um, st nor a, a clear and unified principle ab about which auf den sich, and there was a verb in this one, sich. Erbauen könnte. Yeah, so, so this is to construct Erbauen. Um, and then what, what's the subject of this? Um, eine Schule. Good. Yeah, very nicely done. So once you find this, the verb complex, which is which Irene uh, correctly identified as sich erbauen könnte, so uh, it it could uh, construct itself. Uh, so this would mean uh, up, upon which, i.e., the, the 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 principle on which a school. Um, and then you could add this if you want to in in an actual sense of the word uh, could uh, construct itself or could be could be established. Okay, a little bit uh, complex complex there. Um, okay, let's go on um, from right here. Der Ausdruck. Let's read some together if you all want to re repeat with Irene. Der Ausdruck bedeutet vielmehr im Allgemeinen nichts anderes als die. Everybody. everybody? Der Ausdruck bedeutet vielmehr im Allgemeinen nichts anderes als die in der ganzen wissenschaftlichen Welt verbreitete Erkenntnis. In der ganzen wissenschaftlichen Welt verbreitete Erkenntnis. Okay, so there's another extended adjective modifier, and as I always say, that that's one of the two uh, large hurdles to, to get through as you're completing the, the grammar of, of uh, the German language. So where does it begin and where does it end in the sentence? It's between D and Erkenntnis. Good. So after after D, you look for a adjective or noun, you don't get it, you get a preposition. And then where does it go? Where does it end? Um, before Erkenntnis. Good. Verbreitete. Yeah, so disseminated. So, so this what you would say here, though. So um, the expression uh, means uh, rather, uh, in general, nothing other than the. And then, then where do you go to next, Irene? Erkenntnis. Erkenntnis, and, and which, and then here. Um, uh, now this is present tense, but the, and then this this is past a past participle used here. So you could say which was disseminated. You want to finish that? Um, in the whole uh, scientific world. Good, yeah. So remember, with these extended modifiers, you always go here first, which was disseminated, and, and resolve this with a relative clause. And then you can go either to here next, or if it makes more sense, to go all the way back here, which Irene did, which was disseminated in the entire scientific world. Okay, so the, the expression means much more in general, not, nothing else other than the um, insight, for uh, disseminated in the entire scientific world, that then then where's the verb complex there? Uh, for leaked. Mm -hmm. That and this means it, that that uh, is present. That that the that the religion. Um, and here's your here's your uh, subject. The religion of humanity uh, is present uh, only in a. And this is a multiplicity of. And then, what is um, what is this com what is this uh, genitive called? It's a compact genitive. <laughs> okay, all right, that's um, uh, that's right, because there's no der definite article there, but the er uh, is showing you that this is the genitive plural, when the der is not there. If the der were there, this would be just en. So, uh, of of the individual religious formations, okay. Uh, you want to do that? That the religion of humanity? You want to translate that? That the religion of humanity 
is present only in a multiplicity of individual religious forms. Forms, great. And then they're going to describe what, what these are. What, what does the D refer back to? Building in. Yeah, the forms, which, so, so this, this goes on and on with, with more relative clauses, uh, um, as German is likely, is, uh, is um, want to do. So the, the formations, which, and then where's the verb there? And Wickeln. Yeah, and which, which, and then, but don't forget the C, everybody. So C, always include this with the, uh, now, now sometimes with these reflexive pronouns, you know, the rule is translate them with the reflexive pronouns in your translation. And then if it seems to be not necessary to the meaning of the sentence, then you can um, not, not include it in the English translation. This means that, that develop themselves in the um, <clears throat> manifold or, or uh, manifold mutual gegenseitiger uh, contact and influence. Okay, you want to do that? Just that from there? Who, which? Which develop themselves in manifold mutual um, communication con and influence. Yeah, con contact and, and influence. And, and then where's the verb of this next one? Und? Uh, werden kann. Mm -hmm. Getroffen werden kann. Yeah, so this means to meet. Getroffen werden kann. It can be met um, and um, and and sufficient denen and, and among those i.e between these um, <clears throat> be, between these these uh, images uh, between they those um, and then here's here's your subject here the 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 um, the decision can be made not uh, between those not not with the old uh, dogmatic means of of the differentiation of a natural and a supernatural um, revelation. So you want to go and just do it from here again, DC, which which develop themselves in manifold mutual contact and influence, mm -hmm. and between which the decision can be made not with the old dogmatic means of um, differentiation of differentiation of a natural and supernatural revelation good so here's your genitive here einer of a <clears throat> um, natural and supernatural good and i'm sure you've understood everything that that trouch was trying to say in that in that paragraph <laughs> quite complicated, but interesting. Okay, thanks so much for tuning in and uh, a little bit of uh, Ernst Trelch for your afternoon um, pleasure and uh, tune back in again for another session. Thanks so much, bye-bye.